Hi everyone. So today we're going to be celebrating our summer birthdays. So we have two friends whose birthdays are over the summer. And sadly, we won't be together to celebrate all together, but I still want to do a special read aloud for you. So our friends with our special summer birthdays are Ethan and Jason. So today we're going to read this story all for you. This is The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt and illustrations by Oliver Jeffers. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's, what color? Red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. So how's Red feeling? He said he has to color all the fire trucks and all the Santas and all the hearts and the apples. How's he feeling? He's got his hand on his head. How's he feeling? Tired. Dear Duncan, Oh, what color do we think this is going to be from? What do you see? All right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard's hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to get completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. So how's he feeling? How's Purple feeling? He's a little angry, right? Because he wants to color in the lines. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I'm proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Do you know how to color wheat? Do you like wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. So how's beige feeling? Everyone show me with your bodies. He's slumped. So how's he feeling? Maybe he's a little sad or a little down. Why? Because he only gets to color wheat. So he probably wants to color something else. Duncan, gray crayon here. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? What do we know about rhinos and hippos and whales and elephants? Are they little animals or are they big animals? What do you think? They're really big. Such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, gray crayon. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time I'm the same color as the page you were using me on. So what color? What color crayon do you think he used? White. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. So what did he draw here? What do you think? A cat, but can you see its body? No, because what color is the paper? White, and what color crayon did he use? white. Hi Duncan, I really don't like being used to draw the outline of things that are colored in by other colors, all of which that think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon.
Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful Coloring Things Green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. So what are some things that are green? What do you notice? See a dinosaur, tree, and some alligators and crocodiles. What's this symbol here? We learned all about that. Recycling, that's green too. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove that I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun in your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, Yellow Crayon. So who's next? Who do you think? Orange. Dear Duncan, I see Yellow Crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Aren't you glad I'm here? <laughs> Your pal and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. So why are they fighting? Why are yellow and orange not speaking? Do you remember? Because they both think that they're the color of the sun. So how could yellow and orange crayon be bucket fillers instead of bucket dippers? What could they do to solve this problem? They both want to be the color of the sun. So what do you think they could do? Maybe you can come up with a reason or something that they can do that would make them bucket fillers. So who's next? Who do you think? What color do we have? Blue! Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. So why do you think he's so stubby? Why do you think? Because they used him so much. And who's next? Who's this? Pink Crayon. Duncan. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I say thank you for using me to color in her pretty princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. So is pink a girl's color? No, you can make a pink dinosaur or a pink cowboy. You can make anything, any color that you want. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good work sticker for coloring. star for creativity. So what does that mean, creativity? What do you notice about his drawing? What did he do to make his crayons happy? What color is the water? What color is the sky? Are these the colors you usually see? No, he made everybody happy. He made them happy by coloring using different colors. So he has a pink dinosaur, a black rainbow, an orange whale, 
So I would love to challenge you to create a wacky picture and make your crayons happy by having them draw something that they wouldn't normally draw. Okay, so hopefully you enjoy doing that. And happy, happy birthday, Jason and Ethan.